Well, so you take a quick look at what he has done with Sudan. Five wins out of six games in 2024. That is from Coach Kwesiapia leading Sudan. And he is leading Senegal in the 2026 World Cup qualifying group. Also, he has begun the 2025 AFCON qualifiers with the win. And the team has conceded just once in the last six games that they've played. And all in 2024. Now, a good deal of the matches will be coming up today. And let's take a quick look at some of the games that will be coming up in the 20. 25 African Nations Cup qualifiers. So that is it there for the Africa Cup of Nations qualifiers. Now, let's move away from the AFCON qualifiers, but don't forget at 4 p.m. we'll be bringing you live radio commentary on 3FM 92.7, and all the latest updates will also be on our social media platforms, 3 Sports GH across all the social media Ballon d'Or Awards. So uh, that is uh, the latest news, and you look at the nominations, and it's only about 30 players who have been nominated for the award. Real Madrid having six players in there and it's also uh, the largest number that we've had Messi has won the award for eight times and uh, there's Cristiano Ronaldo who's also won it for an appreciable number of times but for the first time since 2003 those players are not in there well Arsenal and Manchester City equally having about four players in there the high uh, uh, the players with that you know the capability of probably winning the award Kylian Mbappe of Real Madrid, Jude Bellingham also in there. There is Ellen Haaland, Rodri of Manchester City also in there. But unfortunately, Rodrigo isn't in. But there is Vinicius Jr. also of Real Madrid who finds himself on the list. Now let's get into the U.S. Open and the shocks continue. World number one, Iga Siotek has been knocked out in the quarterfinals by American Jessica Pegula. She will now play Czech's Carolina Mukova in the semifinals. The long-distance runner, the marathon runner, who has died. She's a Ugandan, and after her boyfriend set her on flames about two days ago, she was admitted and unfortunately has passed on at the age of 33. She participated in the just-ended 2024 Paris Olympics. Well, that will be all for sports here on New Day here on TV3. Don't forget that we are covering the AFCON 2025 qualifiers extensively for you on TV3 across all our various platforms and social media, 3 Sports G8. Make sure you note and www.3news.com forward slash sports to have all the latest news. My name is Kelvin Oso and I'll catch you later on our subsequent bulletins as we feed you with a lot more on a very big midweek of international football, specifically the AFCON 2025 qualifiers.